more light, the better. But yeah, if it's too much yeah, light, I was gonna say, if it's it too, much too much light, that's so better like that. Let me see. That's better like that. Light. 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 No. Yeah, it is, but one of them is like helps the glare, and one of them helps. They light in a different way. Lisa, Lisa, you gotta get a picture too. Yeah. Who's all the girls? Yeah. Rain, come on. I'm not recording. Where's the camera? Yes. Rain, just keep it right there. Get over there. All right, y'all. Hi. Honduras. Okay. Honduras. Um, Honduras. It's not over enough. Village. Oh, wait. One, two, three. I had three lizards in my room last night, and I didn't even move. Were you scared? I didn't scream. I, I was just like, I watched him, and he was chilling. I like them things. Now, y'all understand that animals and stuff, they react off of instinct. That means if you get nervous, they get nervous. Mm -hmm. You start doing all of this, then all of a sudden they start they getting start defensive, and then that's when they want to sting you. So if you leave your door open by accident and a mosquito gets in your room, your whole night, nine times out of ten, is going to be ruined. Unless you hunt that mosquito down and I know, kill I him. I killed one yesterday. <laughs> we can kill him. <laughs> Okay. Oh what are we doing? What are we doing? Something was biting me. Yeah, okay, guys, man. That's why when you get a lot of people coming in and out the room, it's best to just like one at a time. In and out. Open and shut the door. In and out. I don't play that. I hate when these because I don't like to kill them, you know? Yeah. They will bite That's me. Why all I don't over. like them. Coming in my room. I got bit one time. So, so listen, y'all. Y'all ready? We are ready. We're going to go on a quick tour. I want y'all to get familiar with the grounds, and I'm going to just tell y'all to give y'all a little bit of pointers and stuff along the way. Come on, All right, before I start speaking. Okay, I'm straight. All right, y'all. This is the water. It comes out of the ground into here. As you can feel, it comes out of the ground hot. Okay? Feel the water. Ouch. It's very, very hot. All right? Now, it goes into the tank. You have some tanks that are for hot water and some tanks that are cooling the water. I hear them. <laughs> I got the earphones on. Oh, you, uh, you can't hear her? Oh, Ronald, you can turn it up and down too. Uh, it might be down. If, if case the volume gets low. Okay, I'll go. Alright. Y'all cool? Y'all cool? Y'all got the echo out yeah. <laughs> This is an outdoor shower. So y'all know there's baths down there, but it's really refreshing to take a shower in this thing right here. And um, you just gotta ex experience it to know what I'm talking about. All right, because it's a beautiful view back there. And not too often you get to take a shower outside, so. Okay, I'm going to do a demonstration right now. <laughs> the water, no, the water's room temperature. So, I mean, not room temperature, but you know what I mean. Outside mm -hmm. temperature? Exactly. Not that cold, it's not freezing cold, but it's bearable. It's like a nighttime shower here, right? Plus, it's sticky, it's, it's best to do it like when the sun is out, when it's real hot, and you just want to cool down. Right here is where to come, right here. So what was somebody asking me? Oh, seasons, rainy seasons. Yeah, There's two rain. seasons here, rainy and dry. It's not like spring, summer, winter, and fall. These are the saunas. All right, the way these are built is the same hot water that's coming out those tanks, running through here. And the doors are closed and everything, so there's a lot of steam coming up. So if you, anybody wants to come in here, breathe, you know what I mean? Get the, the sulfur and the minerals and stuff in your lungs, or just sit in there and sweat, lose a little bit of weight, whatever. Like, but, but let me tell y'all something about the water here. The water that you see coming out, going into that tank over there, it's coming out the ground. Now, that's natural water, and it's very, very high in minerals. It has a pH balance of 8 point, wait, is it 7? 8.9, point I think. I think it's 8.9. That, that's a high for a pH balance. You know what I mean? Like, 7 is neutral. Anything above 7, what it starts doing, it starts killing bacteria and everything. So, um, um, the water is good for you, you know, so you need to take advantage of the water while you're here for 30 days. Because when you get back home, the first time I came out here and went back home, I could smell the chlorine in the water, the fluorine, whatever they put in the water, you could smell it, you know, just from having been out here and taking a break from it, mm -hmm. and it actually burned my skin. You know, that's how sensitive, once you get out here and start cleansing and that's how sensitive you're going to get to all that stuff when you get back to the States. You're going to notice a big, big, big difference. So that's what I'm saying. While you're out here, take advantage. Try to take a bath every single day in this water, okay? Look, guys, here's the faucets. This one is filled up. Every single, yeah, no. Every single, ooh, tub that's got the little faucet on the outside. Are y'all looking? Mm-hmm. Hey, y'all need y'all to pay attention. 
Everybody see where this faucet is? All right, turn it on. Here the water. It's warm. Like dark hot. Like how long? This is how you um, rinse the tub out. Watch out, y'all see this broom? Mm -hmm. Pretty much, mix the water around before you take a bath. All right. What you're gonna do? This thing right here. When you get finished taking a bath. You fill it up. Why is this thing in here? Do I put it in there? Oh. Fill it up. We ain't gotta be that hard, but you know what I mean? Go around the whole tub. And you're rinsing it out before and after. You can take a bath every day, okay? Don't be dirty. You can take a bath in the in the daytime. You can take a bath after it gets dark. When the mosquitoes the mosquitoes gonna come out at night. Like when the sun is beginning to go down, but let a couple hours pass by, you'll be straight. You can come down here and run some bath water if you want to take one at night. But just take advantage of this water while you're here, especially, especially if you have any kind of skin problems. All right? Skin problems, hair, get your hair wet, nails, hair, skin, and nails. Do it have right? your hair There's a washing machine inside in case anybody needs to wash their clothes. And if you need, like, extra light when we get in areas like this, I don't know if that made a difference. No, I don't okay, think that's so anyway, there's a washing machine. Come on, I'll show you where the washing machine is. No. Where is the washing machine? Is it outside? You don't need lights? No. That's not it. That one doesn't work. We could just act like it works for the video. Well, there used to be a washing machine here. <laughs> so this is a deal. What we can do is we can go in town once a week. You know, we'll pick a couple people who don't mind, who's going to take all the clothes and, and get them washed. Now, these are herbs, everybody. Over here. Your people, your people who have like prostate cancer and stuff like this is really, really, really good for prostate cancer. This, this stick right here will cure. But this ain't it. <laughs> hold on, hold on. It looks like it. Are they different? Oh yes, it is. Woo! This stuff is man. We got this drink. We're gonna be drinking tomorrow. It's so bitter. Oh, that's the bitter. The first time y'all taste it, I gotta get y'all on film. Yeah. That's the bitter. This stuff will cure prostate cancer and clean, give you a natural high. It's unbelievable. Yeah, I know. Gonna see, man. And and yeah. women and another thing is guys, when women drink that stuff, it makes them aggressive. That's why every time I come yeah. here and I get charged up and I go back home, I'll be on one like like what? You know, to cause all this trouble and stuff. Blame it on the omen grinding. Yeah. Wanna get locked up? Ooh, wow. She always did. So everybody already knows what these are. These are your living quarters. We call them huts. These huts are made out of mud. Told the mud is mud is like an inch thick, okay? What they do is they build like a wood frame and then they pack it with mud and then they, you know, put this like, what is the outer surface called? Mortar. Yeah, because the mud, this isn't, this isn't actual mud because if the water were to get on the, the actual mud, it would melt back down to the ground. This is the outer layer. But anyway, what this does is in the, um, when it gets cold, these walls get warm. And when it's warm, these walls get cool. I know I told everybody yesterday, if you're using tissue paper, don't forget, you cannot flush it down the toilet because this place is it was built on a septic system and we don't want the tissue paper to clog it up, okay? So I know like it's it's a habit. The first thing you do is you throw the toilet in the toilet paper. If you do that, oh, the toilet, 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 toilet paper, toilet paper. Right. <laughs> toilet right. Toilet. You guys <laughs> are so okay. If you forget and you do it, but you remember before you flush it, just Stick your hand back in the toilet. Or get a stick. I stuck my hand right in the toilet. It's your uh -huh. stick. I dropped it. I was like, ooh. Okay. Stick your hand to a grab the toilet paper and throw it in the trash. Oh, okay. okay. And then wash your hands. <laughs> right here, okay? The creek is on the other side of this fence. Now, in your leisure time, if you just want to venture back here, fine. You can't get lost if you follow the creek. The creek goes all the way up to the, to the bottom of the mountain, to the foot of the mountain, and through the forest. I've been back, I've been two hours back into the forest following this creek, okay? And, um, careful, let's go walk back there so I can show you. The further you go up the creek, the higher the water is going to get. We're like way, 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 way at the bottom. Sophia, Tamal, are y'all listening? Heck no, they ain't listening. For some reason, y'all get like a strange itch or a rash. 
Report it immediately because. Is that a huge mosquito? That is not a mosquito. Okay. I told you the time the mosquitoes come out. Oh, okay. Now, if y'all get a strange bite or a rash, report it immediately. What we're going to try to do here is everything the natural way. So, trust me, they got something for you. We got salve for your skin in case you get bites or for the mosquitoes or whatnot. And they got all kind of herbs that'll take care of any kind of problem. If for some reason, God forbid, somebody gets bit by a snake, which that Such shouldn't happen. Reason. That shouldn't happen. This is what I recommend you do. You grab the nearest green leaf around you, uh, and you chew it up, and you eat it. Huh? Right? I thought you put it on a thing. No, this is chlor all of these green leaves. Let me tell you what leaves not to eat when we get back up there. This is a poisonous plant up there that I don't want nobody. I'm not trying to grab a leaf like. No, you know, if you get bit by a snake, you want to grab a leaf because what this is is chlorophyll. Do you and what that does, out? excuse me, the chlorophyll thins out your blood. So when you get a snake bite, that stuff, it coagulates the blood. It makes it so that, you know, clots up. it clots up. This will unclog your blood, okay? You have to respect nature, and nature will respect you. And that's pretty much it for the tour.